Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'm looking at a brand new game coming to Kickstarter called Cleocatra. This is a new game by Sunrise Torpedo Game Studios. It is a 2-4 to four player game that takes roughly 10-20 to 20 minutes to play, and is a competitive game, so each player is competing against the other players to rescue the most cats and have the most points. In the game itself, each player is going to be playing an Egyptian cat rescuer that is trying to save all the unique cats from the pyramids. And throughout the game, the players are going to be moving around tiles, placing their meeples and helpers, and scoring those different tiles. And for each unique cat that they can score, they're going to get a point. And depending upon how they do this and place the tiles, the players are going to be trying to get the most points and come out on top. So some highlights for me, first off, the artwork is just adorable with this one. If you enjoy cats, if you're a cat lover, this is definitely one that's going to grab your attention. And it's a great little filler game at the 10 to 20 minute mark. You can definitely throw this one down in between some of your larger games. And it's a great little fun family game that isn't too complicated. So as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribe to my channel. Because it really does make a big difference, helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. If you want to stay updated on all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table and I'll show you what this one's all about. In Cleocatra, there are five different colored tiles that the players are going to be manipulating throughout the game to score points. In the advanced mode, each one of these is going to have a different unique ability that will be triggered when the player scores on that particular tile. The game is going to start with the first player and then proceed around the board with each player getting to take a turn. During a player's turn, that player must perform two actions, and the player is going to have five different options for actions he can perform. And these are going to be broken down into two different categories, Pyramid Actions and Rescuer Actions. I'm going to take you through each one of these to show you the kind of options you have during the turn. So let's start with the Pyramid Actions, and so the very first one within that is Scout. And Scout is going to allow you to draw a random tile from the supply and place it face up adjacent to one or more other tiles that are already out there. So for this example, let's say that I drew this one and then I would place it out on the playing board. Now if uh, there was other tiles out there, I can choose to place it adjacent to another tile on one of the flat edges. The second option a player has is search and this one is going to allow you to take an unoccupied tile and then move it to a different location in the pyramid. So let's say for example that my player had a meeple there and for whatever reason he wanted to move this tile, he could move it to another place on the pyramid, as long as it is not occupied. And those are the two options for pyramid actions. Then there are rescuer actions, so the first with that is a dispatch, and you can place a rescuer on a tile you just played or moved. So with me moving this tile, then I could choose as my second action to place a rescuer there. The second option within this is the team up, and this is going to allow you to place a rescuer on any tile that is adjacent to one you occupy. So previous example, let's say that I had a guy there, I could also choose to place one here as he is adjacent to one that I have. And the final option is to score, and this option is going to be dependent upon what place you choose to score from. So if I choose to score from this one, let me place some more out here, such as this then I'm going to count each tile that is different than this one plus this one. So I get one for the blue, one for the green, and one for the yellow for three points. I will not count the second green as it, I already have one. And then I also will count one point for each helper that I have in there. So I have one guy here, so that'll give me four points. This one doesn't count because this is my scoring tile. Once I'm done with that, then I'll remove the helpers or the rescuers back to my supply, and I would place a brown marker on there to say that that was where I took it from. And this will count as a space or a rescuer. So each space can only have two meeples added on at any time or one meeple and a brown token. This is going to continue with each player taking a turn until one player reaches or exceeds the 23 points. And that'll trigger the end of the game where each player will have an equal number of turns. So depending upon who triggered that, you'll finish off the round and then the player that has the most points will win, and if there's a tie, the players will share in that victory. Once you've played through the game a couple times, there is an advanced mode that adds some additional skills and tile abilities. So I'd like to take a look at some of these right now. So each one of the tiles, the colored tiles, is going to have a little ability that's listed up in the upper right-hand corner. And each one of these abilities is going to have a different effect. 
With the blue tile, with these you can move the tile even if it has a rescuer or inspector on it. So in this situation here, I could choose to do an action to move this tile to a different area even though I have there's another meeple on there where normally you're not allowed to. With the green tile, if you have a rescuer on there, you can spend an action to swipe your meeple with another person's meeple. With the purple tile, when you score on this tile, you will not have to remove your meeple from that tile, so you'll get to keep them on there. With the orange tile, when you score on this tile, when placing inspectors, you're going to actually place two, and you can place them on any other tile. You don't have to place them on the tile that was on there. And the final tile is the Cleocatra tile. With that one, it is a unique tile. There's only one of them included in the game. If you can score on that tile, you're going to get an additional bonus point. And then the player with the fewest points before scoring is also going to get to take a bonus action immediately after the end of that player's turn. And the final thing I want to do is take you through some sample turns. So the game is going to start with the first player, and the last part of setup with this is that each player, starting with the first player, will choose one of the tiles, placing it out, and then placing one of their meeples on it. So again, starting with my blue player first, I'll draw this tile here and place him out. Then the black player will go, and he's going to choose this tile, and he'll place that here. And then finally the green player will go and he's going to take this one here and place that. All right, then it will the game will begin with the blue player taking his turn. And again, he will have two actions that he can do. So the blue player will start off by drawing a tile and placing it out. And then he is going to play a dispatch to place a meeple there. Moving over to the black player, he will go, and he's going to go ahead and do a dispatch and place a guy there. And he's going to do a second dispatch and place a guy there. Moving over to the green player, he will go ahead and draw. And he's got that one. And then he will place a meeple out. And each space can only have a maximum of two meeples. So that is one of the reasons why the green couldn't place a meeple there. Moving back over to the blue player to go, he is going to place a meeple out for dispatch, and then he's going to go ahead and score. So he's going to score the yellow space, and so he's going to get one for the yellow, one for blue, and one for green, so that's three points, and then he gets a bonus one for each helper that is in those areas. So he's going to get one for this and one for that, so blue picks up five points. And then he removes all of his meeples, adding them back to his area, and he'll add a brown inspector there. Then it'll move over to the black player who is going to pretty much just go in, go ahead and score. And that is the one exception to that. If you rescue as your first action, then that will end your turn. So he's going to go ahead and he will do these three as well as the blue will not count as there's two blue there. So he's going to get five points as well. One, two, three, and then four, five for his two helpers. So he'll remove those and add a brown to that one as well. And then we'll mark his spot. Finally, with the green player to go, that player is going to do a move action. So he's going to move the tile to another location. And then he will do a dispatch tile section. Moving back over to the blue player, he's going to go ahead and do a scout. So he'll flip over a tile and place it out. And then he's going to do a dispatch. Moving over to the black player, that player will do a scout. And let's place it over here. Then he is going to place a meeple out. Moving over to the green player, he will go ahead and score on this tile here. So he's going to get one, two, three, four points. And then he is also going to get five and six for that. So he's actually got six points now. So he'll move those off and place one there. Moving over to the blue player to go. That player is going to dispatch. And then he is going to go ahead and do a quick score. So he's going to get one, two, three, and four points for the helper. And then he gets to move one of those over. So four points he's going to pick up and he'll go to nine. Moving over to the black player. That player is going to dispatch. And then he's also going to scout. So he'll place one there. 
Moving over to the green player to go next. Green player is going to scout and place one here and then dispatch. And like I said, again, this is going to continue going until one of the players hits the 23 or over, and then each player will have the final to finish off that turn, and the player that has the most points will be the winner of the game. I hope you guys found this video helpful in deciding whether or not you want to back this Kickstarter. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop any questions you have there as well. I'm sure the creator would love to hear from you and is more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. And if you found this video helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel, as it really does make a big difference. It helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.